I'm going to show you quickly um, the things that I'm actually ordering for Aurora's buggy. Turn down for what? Turn down for what? What's going on, guys? Welcome to today's vlog, or should I say, welcome to this evening's vlog. It is very late in the day. Um, we got up this morning, and the vehicle that we drive, the car, the vehicle, basically, the tire was about this flat again on the back driver's side. So I went and uh, put some air in it. I thought it could have been because of the um, the cold weather that we've been having. Sometimes it fluctuates the air in and out of the tire. Um, got to school on my way back. It flashed up again on the dash um, that the the right driver's rear wheel was uh, tire pressure failure. So when I came back, Sarah got her nails done today and when I took her to the nail place, which is underneath my office, I went over to the garage and I felt around the wheel and I could feel like this little metal thing is about this big, about the size of a 50p. Uh, so I put the compressor on it and I moved it back and forth and it came out and it looked like the end of an axe had gone into the wheel. So I don't know how that's got in there, like, a, like the corner of a shovel or a part of an axe. So. That wasn't good at all. Uh, the reason, that isn't the main reason why we're starting the vlog this late in the evening. Sarah's been having contractions. We've been sorting out what's gonna to happen to the kids if she goes into labor. We've also been sorting out the worst case scenario if she goes in to be induced on the, is it the 4th? The 4th of February. Worst case scenario, obviously. Chloe's gotta be off work. Uh, boyfriend's gonna help us out as well, Curtis. So that's like the worst case scenario. That's you know the worst thing that can happen sorry so that's like the worst thing that can happen so we've been sorting all that out today and other bits and pieces and yesterday's vlog was so long that we kind of we are wearing ourselves down because i have to vlog on this and this is not ideal at all to me sarah likes it i don't like it i prefer the g7x i know it back to front i've got loads of stuff as well that's that's coming for the channel that's different, it's just a shame that we had to call it, um, we had to cut it short because Vanilla Pet whacked it and it, it, you know, but you know, kids will be kids at the end of the day. If we allow her to do it, then that's why she did it. So we went, as I said, we went and dropped Sarah off to do her nails. I went in the office with Daz, sorted out a few things for the 3D printing. I've also just been approved to sell on Amazon. So we're now going to be selling on Amazon as well, which is huge for us. So I'm going to be doing that over the course of the weekend. I'm going to be adding some of the products because obviously, Sarah's going to be going into labour anytime soon, so I need to get it all into place because it'll be all hands on deck when Aurora is finally here. So Sarah's going to check in with you in a minute because Porsche's got something important that she wants to tell you, but that's the reason why today's vlog is starting so late at like 10 o'clock in the evening. It's, uh, it's mental. Much, much later. So I thought I'd check in with you guys. I've not vlogged much today because I don't even know why. I've just been cleaning. Been busy on me sorting out. Um, yeah. Like the worst case scenario if she comes. And then Chloe has just decided tonight to say that she's going to Huddersfield tomorrow. So I just messaged her and said, what's going to happen if I need Jai for going labour? And she's ignoring me, like she always does. So, she better be able to get back in like 10 minutes from Huddersfield. Do you reckon she will? No, nope, because it's about an hour away. So I hope she decides to come tonight. So she can't go. <laughs> I doubt she will, but Chloe. I mean, it won't be a big issue. We've got friends around here, so we will be able to get someone just to sit with the kids until she got back anyway. <coughs> um, but yeah, we've not really vlogged much today because I've just been like cleaning up, getting washing sorted out, trying to get everything prepared because if I go into labour, obviously I don't want to leave it all down to the kids. And then tonight, my dishwasher decided to break. So we are having to wash pots, you know. I'm not saying I don't mind washing pots, but I like to be, um, I like to be like posh becks, you see, too posh to push. I'm too posh to um, wash pots. I don't like washing pots, I hate it. That's why I got a dishwasher. Anyway, Portia. Come here, Portia. Come and tell everybody what you got in school today. Because a teacher was so proud of her that she got a certificate. Mm -hmm. So 
So she's going to tell you what she got the certificate for. So are you going to tell them what you got a certificate for today, Portia? Did you get it in assembler? Mm hmm And who gave you that? Mr. Oh, who? Like which teacher? Because you have, is Mr. it a certain Mays. teacher that gives it you? Is that your teacher? Yeah. So it was just for handwriting? Yeah. Are you the best in the class then? No, because everyone gets, someone gets one every week. Oh, so like whoever's the best in that week gets a certificate? So yeah, I just want to say how proud we are of Portia for getting that certificate today. So Portia's gone to bed actually, so she's going to show you her certificate tomorrow and let you see what she got. So anyway, I'm going to show you quickly um, the things that I'm actually ordering for Aurora's bugger because... I think it'd be nice if you've seen it just before it actually goes in a bugger. So I'm going to show you that. It's only going to be like a clip where I've saved it into eBay because I can only actually find this one on eBay. I have actually looked on Amazon, but can't seem to find the same one that I actually want. So I'm going to show you that now. So this is just a couple of things that we've been looking at. This is a cozy toes that you put obviously inside of the bugger and it just looks so cute it's all frilly and got like diamantes on then there's this like fur that goes round the hood with like a bow on to match you can actually buy the frilly one that matches the actual cozy toes but we like the fur a little bit better don't we yeah so i think it'll look a bit nicer for the um winter as well also this charm not too sure whether you can see it, but it says baby girl on it, and then it's got like all different things actually put onto it. And then this just clips onto the bugger. Now, I don't know whether this might be a little bit too light compared to the other colour of the cozy toes and the like the flower on the fur, but maybe she could just make it in a bit of a darker pink, more like this pink. And then also this one that I want. So I don't know if to get two of these and have this one. So this one says princess, but then also get another one exactly the same, but obviously with a name on. So on one side it'll say princess and on the other side it'll say Aurora. Um, but yeah, I've not quite decided yet. I'll maybe mind up what to do. Or I might just buy all three of them and then just put the other one onto a, oh, onto a Moses basket. So... And I think the other one would actually match a Moses basket more, where these would match the stuff that we want, because obviously it's got like the darker pink in and the light pink, and then the darker pink in the crown. So yeah, that's just a few of the things that I've been looking at for Aurora's um, bugger. I'm actually going to order the fur tonight, and then I think the woman said she can. we can order the cosy tolls, but she won't be able to start till next week. But at least it will be in the bugger by the end of next week. I don't really think we're going to be going out in it for a couple of weeks anyway. Um, or using it because obviously the weather's quite bad and she's going to be quite tiny. And obviously I'm going to have all the appointments with the midwife. So we'll probably be housebound for like the first couple of weeks anyway. Um, with appointments for like health visitors and midwives and blah 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 and depending on what happens obviously the way the labour goes if I deliver naturally or I end up having a c-section whichever way it goes obviously if you have a c-section then I'm not going to be able to move for like four weeks and that I won't be able to drive for like six weeks well depending on how well I heal last time I healed like really well so I was driving after like four weeks when I so hopefully, fingers crossed, everything will go fine and we won't need any interventions of being induced or having a C-section and she will just come naturally. But for some reason, I just can't see that actually happening. So, that's just the way it is. 
unfortunately that's just the way it is, isn't it? She's going to come as and when she's ready. So, and however things pan out, that's just the way it is. That's the way it's going to go. So, I'm going to love you and leave you and check back in with you shortly and show you my nails with Dave. All right, so as we said earlier before, or as I said, and then Sarah followed and said, today has been a really slow day for us and we've not been filming that much by choice because we put a really long vlog out yesterday and we're trying not to burn Sarah out as much as possible because she's going to need her strength. So am I as well to some extent because I'm going to be running around like a blue ass fly once Sarah goes into labour because we've got to get everything in place. Obviously, if Chloe's in Huddersfield and Sarah goes into labour, and a boyfriend's had a drink, then I'm gonna have to go to Huddersfield to get Chloe to bring her back here. So uh, there's loads of things that we have to get in place, like contingency plans that we've got to get in place. We'd have, we'd have to organize else. Yeah, so Imogen would have to stay here and then, um, but Imogen wants to come to the birth. So there's loads of caveats. Sound like a proper businessman now, don't I? Contingency plans, caveats, um, barbing creams. I don't know. So yeah, th that's why it's been like a bit of a slow day. But as I said before, Sarah went and got her nails done at the, is it called Tans in here? Yeah. It's below um, the office that we've got. So she's gonna show you her uh, amazing nails. Now, they're just like, they're nails to me, but. I know, uh, but it feels so much better. Yeah, check them out. You no, know, like when you've not had nails on for so long and you actually start feeling like you're not normal anymore. No, I don't know. Like, not feeling, but not, it makes you feel like you're not human or you're not girly. You know? All right, let's so, see but nails anyway, then. This is, I mean, they are quite plain compared to what I have, but I just really fancied these because, like, when I look back on previous vlogs, I just think God, they look dead nicer. So yeah, so I just went for like a natural um, ombre look, and she's so good. The girl she's called Zara. It's actually my friend's boyfriend's sister who actually works in there. Um, and they're only £18.50. So if you live anywhere local to um, Staley Bridge, definitely go and And she couldn't believe you still had the bump. I know, when I walked in the shop, she said, I can't believe you're still pregnant. Like she was proper shocked. She said, and like, I ain't seen you know, since before Christmas, I think it was last time she did my nails, wasn't it? Um, and she was like, Last time you came in, I, f I actually thought that you were quite small and you come in this time and you look like you've just been pumped up, <laughs> basically. <laughs> so it's like, cheers. <laughs> so last time I went, I thought, mm. but this time you are, yeah. Nice, cheers Zara, because I know that you'll watch. So tomorrow what we're gonna be doing is, we had um, some noodles sent to us a while ago these, the challenge noodles, aren't they? They're super, super red hot noodles. So we're gonna be trying those tomorrow with the kids. And Sarah's also gonna be doing some more labor inducing tips and tricks to try and get Aurora to go out. But Porsche. Porsche's wrote them all, da all, all down. So Porsche is going to be leading the way tomorrow. So it's gonna be like, um, you know, the daughter's gonna be leading the way to see if she can get Aurora to come out, which, which should be pretty funny. So there's loads to get through. There's loads to, um, to do tomorrow, but, as you can tell, I'm really, really tired. We're, we're close to burnout, aren't we? We really are. So I'm gonna end today's vlog. Yeah, we've both got a bit of a cold as well. Uh, my hair's ridiculous. It's uh, It needs cutting and I need a shave. So yeah, do not forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you're not already. Make sure you click the notification bell. It does nothing and make sure you leave us a comment and we will see you guys tomorrow because we do this every single day.